Shona traditional culture, now fast declining, was noted for its excellent ironwork, good poetry, stone sculptures and expert musicianship. Elementary education, Christian missions and partial urbanization have weakened traditional institutions and leadership in Shona. However, magic and witchcraft continue as important means of social control and explanations for disaster. In this video, we'll be discovering the artistic Shona tribe of Zimbabwe. Stay tuned. The Shona tribe is Zimbabwe's largest indigenous group. Their tribal language is also called Shona, and their population is around 9 million. They are found in Zimbabwe, Botswana and southern Mozambique, in southern Africa and bordering South Africa. Representing over 80% of the population, the Shona tribe is culturally the most dominant tribe in Zimbabwe. There are five main Shona language groups, Kore Kore, Zaseru, Manyika, Ndao and Karanga. The Ndebele largely absorbed the last of these groups when they moved into western Zimbabwe in the 1830s. The Shona are farmers of millet, sorghum and corn, the last being the primary staple and a variety of other crops such as rice, beans, peanuts and sweet potatoes. Cattle are kept by most groups but although useful for their milk, they are mainly for prestige, as a store of value and for bright price payments. Shona villages consist of clustered mud and wattle huts, granaries and common cattle pens and typically accommodate one or more interrelated families. Traditionally, Shona people live in isolated settlements, usually consisting of one or more elder men and their extended families. Most decisions were made within the family. Although organized political states were recognized as a source of centralized power, a principal chief who inherited his position and power in the same divine manner as a king, headed them. He usually lived in a centralized location and was complimented by his court that advised him about most important decisions. The head chief often received substantial payment in the form of tributes from his constituency. The Shona believe in two types of spirits, the Shiv spirits and the Vadzimu spirit. Shiv spirits are most often considered to be outside or wandering spirits, and Vanzimu are ancestral spirits. Shiv spirits are connected to populations living outside of Shona territory and may be connected to neighboring people. These spirits may be either malevolent or benevolent. Bad spirits are associated with witchcraft, while good spirits may inspire individual talents associated with healing, music, or artistic ability. Vadzimu represents all that is ideal and moral about a Shona way of life. They are usually associated with recent ancestors or with more remote cultural heroes whose exact genealogy has been forgotten. Shona artists are well known for their stone sculptures and are typically called Shona sculptures because it is the name of the tribe in Zimbabwe that has traditionally created these works of art. The stone carving has been part of Zimbabwean culture since 1200 AD when Great Zimbabwe, an archaeological masterpiece of their early ancestors, was built. The solid forms and beautiful surfaces of Shona sculpture expresses an extraordinary emotional power. Today, the art commands worldwide recognition, with the world's most talented cover being recognized in Zimbabwe. The Shona sculptures are produced from a variety of stones. Serpentine stone, with its considerable range of colors and hardness, is the material most commonly used by the sculptures. Most serpentine stones used was formed over 2.6 billion years ago. Serpentine stone exists in a diversity of colors including black, the hardest and least common, browns, mauves, greens and yellows. Sometimes sculptures are also made of semi-pressure stones like leopard rock and verdite. Although known for their stone sculpture, the Shona tribe of Zimbabwe has a rich artistic heritage which includes decorative fabric painting using sadza too. Drawing on ancient sculpting traditions, they've produced a modern art movement of dignified, exquisite works. Reminiscent of renowned artists Picasso and Henry More, this extraordinary, intense work speaks to all humanity. If you find this video interesting and informative, kindly like, comment and share. Thanks for watching.